if you have classes with any kind of educational robots or any programming microcontroller board, you can use chatbot to create code for it as well. In this video I will show you how to program this cute BBC microbit board, but you can use AI to create code for any other device of your choice. Activity number three, let's go even further. Now I suggest generating a code that will program the uh, some kind of a physical device. And in my case it would be BBC Microbit. But uh, you can use any other uh, programmable device that you might be familiar with, like Arduino or Raspberry Pi or something, uh, something else, whatever is on your mind. Most probably the chatbot will be able to generate the code for it. Um, I have a BBC Microbit, which I really, really like, and I uh, really encourage you to like it too. And let's see what are the most basic things uh, we can start with it. Uh, I will make the my camera bigger so you could see the uh, the board more clearly and let's generate some code okay um, generate Python code for BBC micro bit board to display hello on the screen on the screen of the board, of the microbit uh, board. Let's see if the chatbot will know that the BBC microbit has a built-in display. Okay, we have the code, we have the uh, long explanation that we don't need as always. Let's copy the code into the uh, microbit online Python editor. Uh, I paste it here. Let's check it out. I click send to microbit. And yeah, most probably it showed on the screen, uh, but it showed only once and I would like to see it more times. So let's let's modify the, the code, modify the code. So the hello text appears when I click the A button on the board as the BBC microbit has built in A and B to two, two buttons. Let's check this out now. Sure, no problemo. We have the code. Let's paste it. And now you see whenever I press the A button, I see the hello. So he is able to, to generate the interactions with the buttons and other sensors on the board. Okay, let's go further. Now generate a code that whenever I shake the board, a number as on a rolling dice appears on the screen. So again, informal instruction. I don't tell him display random number from one to six on the screen. I just say display a number as on a rolling dice. So a common expression and he has to translate it himself to the coding uh, meaning of it. Let's see, we have the code. I send it to microbit, flashing, and... And when I shake it, five, two, three, one. It works! It works, five, three. So we have a, a electronic rolling dice. Whenever we shake the board, we have a random number from one to six. Uh, and the chatbot understood that the, my expression uh, rolling dice means a random number from 1 to 6. So let's do one more thing. Please add a function whenever I press B button, display a number as on rolling two dices. 
you can modify the code to display the sum of two dice rolls when the button is pressed on the BBC Microbit board. Here's you can, how you can do it. Let's copy the code. Flash it to BBC Microbit. Flashed. And let's see. When I shake it, it still displays one random number from one to six. But now when I press the B button, uh, zero, one, one, zero, something doesn't work. It, it reacts on my uh, pressing the B button, but uh, it displays only zero, one or two. Let's take a bit a look. If B button is pressed, mm, uh, I don't know. I don't know how to code. Something's wrong. Some things wrong. Uh, when I I press the B button, I see only one, two, or zero. Can you fix it? So something is wrong. I don't know why. I see only one to zero, and this is not what I wanted to see. I want to see from uh, like rolling two dice. Figure it out yourself, Mr. Chatbot. I apologize for the confusion. The microbit uh, LED display can only show single digits from 0 to 9. When the sum of two rolled dice is a two digit number, 10, 11, or 12, the microbit is unable to display it correctly. No, 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 it's able to display. Uh, numbers bigger bigger than 10. I know this. To fix this, you can make the microbit scroll the number across the display instead of trying to show all at once. Yes, so let's see if you were able to fix this error. Okay, I have the code. I press the B button, as, as you can see, 7, 5, six, eight, and when I shake, two. So, yeah, again it works. When I shake, I have numbers from zero to, from one to six, and when I press the button, I have two dice roll. Uh, from one, no, yeah, from two to 12. And so on and so on, we could work with the board uh, much more, but as you can see, uh, for me, the most impressive thing is not only that he, the chatbot is able to generate the code, but the fact that he is also able to reflect on the code that he created and to find the, the errors and the mistakes that he made before and correct them. This is what makes the uh, experience of coding with chatbot almost the same like of coding with a real human friend uh, that we can ask uh, normal questions. <laughs> Uh, too, and we can discuss with him what do we want to do, how do we want to make it, something doesn't work, please fix it, find the bug in this code. So I really encourage you to try it yourself. Uh, you can generate web pages, you can generate some visual programming, uh, multimedia stuff, and uh, even code physical devices. I think almost every kind of programming available, our chatbot is capable of doing. So. The future is here.